Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. What a lovely day. It's just beautiful. Perfect. We heard from our illustrious, re, very nice president today. Oh, we want to talk about that. And a bunch of other things, too. So, post-market wrap-up, yes. Did I say that Thursday, January 26th, 2023? You know, let's start off with our illustrious, beautiful... What a beautiful man he is, really. <laughs> Wow, I almost threw up. Um, I'm talking about our, you know, um, mummy man. Mummy man himself. He really does, to me, people look like a cross between the mummy and Frankenstein, Boris Karloff kind of reincarnation or something along those lines. So, <laughs> I don't know which one to tell you about first. So, all right, let's, let's start off with this. So, our, our, our beautiful, beautiful president... He's out here today touting the economy, strong jobs growth. The economy is growing. And of course, inflation is it's getting way better. Uh, and it's going to get way better from here too. But just to put a perspective on this for you, in case you don't, you don't already know, we, um, we got a, the annual bank rate emergency fund report today. Now, this is what their... Uh, they're telling us, tell me if this sounds more like reality to you. So 68% of people are worried that they won't be able to cover living expenses if they lose their jobs for even one month. In other words, people can't survive one month, one, without having a job. What do we know is going on here? What have we been hearing straight out of the mouth of Federal Reserve presidents? People need to lose their jobs for inflation to go down. Let me ask you, um, you know, we're friends, right? Why is it that our illustrious, imbecile, brain-dead, mummified, Frankenstein monster of a freaking president won't bring that up? You want to let me in on that, on that one? Maybe you want to. Um, now, it also, uh, this report also comes up with this, that 57% of U.S. adults are unable to afford a $1,000 emergency expense. 57%. Now, what else did we find out just, was it last week? One in three American families cannot get by without taking on more debt. People are swiping those freaking credit cards, taking out credit lines and everything else you can think about just to, again, maintain that illusion, people. The illusion of a middle-class existence. You and I knew this was going to happen from years ago. I said people are going to try to claw, you know, claw themselves up by, by borrowing. And all they're doing is, again, assuring themselves a front-row seat on the blank train into the rat hole into financial obscurity. You can't say words like S-H-I-T anymore. No, they flag your videos. Um, but you can fill in the blank for me. So let me ask you, again, we're friends. Why is it that a beautiful hunk of a man, I don't go that way, but I'm just telling you, uh, this man didn't at all explain that. Uh, people's Today, people are carrying their largest debt burdens ever in history. And that is about to get monumentally worse. Inflation, well, he's admitting that we have it now. You remember we had no inflation? Now we, we have it. But at least it's, he's, he's saying that it's slowing. And you know, look, well, uh, maybe the pace of inflation is slowing, but prices continue to freaking rise. But you, you're not allowed to know any of that. You see, that thing that sits behind the Resolute Desk thinks that you are brain dead uh, and you're prospering and everyone's doing fantastic. But that's actually not the case now, is it? Now, a couple of other things uh, that's going on here. So we all understand, let's, let's focus on this, this expanding war over here. So uh, we know battle tanks going over there now from the United States and Germany. There's all this talk about fighter planes, bombers, uh, advanced missile systems, uh, everything else that's going to go over. And it is. Just in case you don't know, or you even have the slightest doubt at all in your mind, yes, fighter planes, bombers, anti-tank, anti-personnel weaponry are coming. Every kind of missile and other, other war machine thing is going to be sent right over there, and the price of this is going to go 
beyond anyone's wildest dreams, and I'm not talking about even the human price here, okay? We're talking, look, this war is going to go on and on and on and on and expand and expand and expand and expand. All, all we're waiting for is a triggering event, and it's coming too. Mark my words on this, and you know what I'm talking about. This war will expand. We are in the early stages of World War III. It's already begun. It's going to get, it's going to sweep the world and everybody in it. Okay, so just just, just get, be ready for that. Be ready for that. Uh, more and more saber rattling. It's out of, out of control and it's not going to stop you. And that's, you know, what's going to happen. Uh, look, there's going to be an event. Obviously, it's going to be staged like every single one before it. Um, they're going to allow this to happen. And then, of course, the people are going to get as many people as they can to back it. It's always the same story. It just never stops. Now, here's an interesting piece of uh, information I want you to pay attention to. Now, I don't know how many of you do what I do, and that is flip through the financial channels through the day and, you know, hear their take on things. It's kind of interesting. Um, nobody's buying the data. Nobody's buying it. Nobody at all. I mean, it's just, it's too stupid here. Again, despite mass layoffs, first time unemployment claims come in better than expected. Uh, GDP, it's, it's taking off higher than expected. Why? It's government spending. It's government spending. It has nothing to do with what we're actually producing. Uh, and of course, all the weaponry going over to Ukraine and wherever else central banks want to send it, because it's them, uh, that's also going to be counted towards GDP as well. And this whole durable goods orders is just a joke. Factories are shutting down. Manufacturing is dead. But meanwhile, oh, you know, we, durable orders, better than expected. Imagine my shock here. No one is buying it, not even on the mainstream financial channels. They're all, you can see the look on their face. How many of you out here play poker? All right. You see, you can see the hint on the face. You just see it right there. Anyway, so let's uh, let's let's roll ourselves over to this lovely stock market today. Nice rally today. Nice rally across the board, um, especially tech. And uh, there's a lot of talk about buyback programs. A lot of these big corporations are going to be buying back their own stock. Lovely, uh, and of, and even some of them are raising their dividends as well. So, what do you, again? Let's put this together. First of all, you and I know where this is going to go. And we have the best tool on the face of this freaking earth to gauge risk in this market. I'm talking about the MMRI. It is back right on my website. Please check it out. Link in the description of this video. Okay. Stable. The MMRI has been stable along with the action in the debt market and the relative strength of the dollar. There's nothing going on here, people. Okay. It's an illusion, but that illusion is being kept real. That means cash is as you and I would have expected. Look where it's going. Back into the stock market. Back into the stock market. Rally, rally, rally. Once this starts to unwind, we're going to see, again, a spiking in the MMRI. We know where the red lines are, people. We used to be at 300. Remember what happened at MMRI 300? Nick the Pig, Oink Man, and Mary Dolly. Oh, they floated those freaks out. And then it seems that they don't want the MMRI to go above 250 now. Uh, so we know where the red lines and the sands are, and that and that makes our life simple. It really does. I think, honestly, gauging from the current situation, moving closer, to, and to, and watching this war expand, keeping that debt market stable, cash is going to go into the stock market. So, uh, look, you 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 do what you want, but I've been I've been buying. I've been buying this market. You all know that. I've been buying one thing, ticker J E P I, and I've been buying a lot of it. Um, I, I, I really feel that that's where it's going to go right now. Uh, the drivers of this market are telling us buy this freaking market. So we're going to buy the market. We're also going to be betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, buying commodities here. I mean, look, we got it. We got everything covered. We got it all covered. You and me. So from every, whatever they want to do, every angle, we got that covered too. We understand the game. If you understand the game. You know the players, and you're watching the pieces get moved around the chessboard, and we're watching that right now. We're light freaking years ahead of everybody else, and that's really the truth. You know, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, okay? I wasn't going to let the cat out of the bag. How did the cat get in the bag? I don't even know where that came from. Maybe someone can tell me out here. Well, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I've been dabbling into some intraday trading as of late. I got a new little... A little thing I'm working on here, and uh, it's not ready to be released, and I'm going to give it away to everybody for free, for freaking free. That's because that's the kind of guy that I am. Once I perfect this, 
you're all going to get it. Uh, it's going to be sent out in my free newsletter. Again, link in the description of this video. I'd probably say I need about three more weeks of work. Three more weeks on it. And for those of you here that, that like to intra-day trade, well, we got something that's uh, looking pretty promising here. All right, look. So with that said, what else is there to say here, people? I don't know. Uh, I did my live stream earlier today. Remember, please, people keep writing to me. Hey, Greg, when is it? I'm going to tell you again, okay? 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just be ready for it. Just be sitting in front of your lovely computer if you want to, and you can you can get involved in this. I had a lot of fun earlier today. A lot of questions, a lot of a lot of craziness. It's you know, look, we, I'm not just going to sit there and just blab about this freaking market, which we touched on. But then I, I want to get on a more personal level with all of you. You know, uh, throw things out there. Uh, let, let let's let's get to know each other a little bit better. You know what I mean? All right, look, I, uh, I, this is all well and good and fun and, and everything else, but uh, we do need to keep our eyes on the ball. And uh, I want to hear from you. What do you think about President, our lovely, beautiful president? Um, what do you think about him touting the economy, job growth, uh, inflation is slowing? And then we got this report from uh, this annual emergency fund report. 68% of people cannot survive one month if they lose their jobs. 57% of, of uh, adults can't afford a $1,000 emergency expense. That does not sound like a prospering people to me. How about you? All right. I'm out of here. Love you a lot. Please share the video. Comment. I'll see you all in the morning. I promise. And, uh, well, that's all.